Aloha. So forecast for the week of the 21st of August until the 27th of August, Monday to Sunday. We have three days to make highlight uh, here, or to make highlight in three days, <laughs> to be correct English. Um, three days, Monday, 21st. It has a 11 and a 9 in the same day. Wednesday, 23. It has a 11 on the whole date. So, powerful. And then uh, Thursday 24, it has a, it's a first, it's the first quarter of the moon. So from the new moon, now it starts the first quarter, it starts to grow halfway. And it's a galactic activation portal, galactic activation portal in uh, Mayan astrology. And the sign of this day is blue night. So. Three days, Monday, Wednesday, and Thursday. Let's break this down and also see the energy of the other days. Monday 21st, we have a tree, which is a connection. You know how you um, calculate this 21? It's three in numerology, two plus one. This is for you to understand a little bit of numerology. At some point, maybe we'll go dive into this uh, more deeply. So you have a tree which is outward energy. It's like tree and fire are very similar. It's like communicating. Uh, it's outward. It's yang. It's like getting in touch with people, having meetings. It's communication. It's um, Mercury, you know, energy. And then we have a 11, which is a portal. It's a channel kind of energy. It's a master number. And the most important energy of the day is the whole date. The numerology of the whole date, it's a nine. Day nines are bliss, pure bliss. Either you have a really beautiful encounter or meeting with someone, either you dedicated the day for you and you have a beautiful day. Nine is dharma, you know, it brings goodness and dharmic events and uh, especially to be with your loved ones. Um, it's a really uh, beautiful energy for that. Day nines are, and also the Mayan astrology of this day is yellow sun. It's a really positive energy. It's actually the sign of my Reiki master. Um, so 11, 9 and yellow sun and coming, uh, you know, the Shiva moon growing. It's a really positive energy. It's a really positive energy and can be a very special day for some deep connection or deep talk with someone or either for yourself. <clears throat> In numerology we have 3, 6 and 9 as energies very very um, creative and then of course the master numbers. So 9 is and 11 in the same day is a very creative energy as well. So you can take the day uh, to definitely to connect, make your practice. I hope you do <laughs> your spiritual practices every day and if not it's never late to start, um, but it's a really beautiful day to tune in and to bring out whatever is for you to bring out. Either it's, it's a painting, it's a designing, it's a writing, whatever it is, uh, to be good to yourself. And if it comes up, actually, if you have to schedule any meeting with someone, or if you need to have a deep talk with someone, or if you need to make peace after the black moon with someone, this is the day. Day nines are the days to make peace with someone, to have that talk, that hard talk, to, um, to say I'm sorry, to bring, come together and to talk, you know? Uh, because the nine is a, a number of the heart chakra, you know? It's the forgiveness, it's the understanding, it's the unconditional love. So this is the energy for Monday, really beautiful. So if you have to schedule meetings um, or with friends or, or, or maybe can go out with your family or doing some, something happy with your family or your loved ones or uh, to be with a close friend um, or to have a deep talk or, or this is the day. So 22nd master number tuesday we have three and one with fire energy one is the um in the 
whole date. So the day of the days goes, so if Monday was 9 in the whole date, then Tuesday is 1, because it comes out from 1 to 9, and then coming to 9, come back to 1. So Tuesday is 1, and 1 is a fire number, my life path actually, and it's a fire energy, and um, the, Mayan, the Mayan sign is red dragon, which is another fire energy. So, and then it has a, 20, a 22, which is, you know, 22nd of August is a master number. So it can be like a day to put full power on, to work, to do, you know, not procrastinating to do what you have to do. It's like a day to put your hands to work and be practical. Um, not much special about this day. Then Wednesday is a day, it's a master number 11. We have a five because it's 23rd of August, Wednesday. We have a five, which is like young energy, like communicating. And then we have a four, which is, which is work. And then we have an 11 as the whole day. So this day is a portal uh, for you to create, for you to tune in, for you to, uh, I mean, the last day that was at, this was in Black Moon. <laughs> um, uh, some people were completely flat on the bed, like unable to just to get up. Um, but this is a different energy because it's now coming to the Crescent Moon. So it's very light energy and happy energy. And um, the Mayan astrology of this day is white wind. White wind white wind it's about bringing new ideas new it's it's creative you know it's like the air is creative it's new ideas so 11 as a portal master number it's one of those days also for you to tune to see to feel the energy of this day and to bring your best and uh, take it to create something good 11 besides it's a master number we have you know, in master numbers, we always have to see the other side of the coin because 11 is also 2. So 22 is also 4, which is work. And, and 33 is also uh, 6, which is family and home. And um, anyway, 11 is also 2. And what is the energy of 2? The couple. It's the couple. So it's uh, maybe, who knows, a good day to do something nice with your partner. Um, because the energy now is nice, the moon is nice now, and yeah, it's maybe you can do something together with your partner in, in this day. Same time has the power of a master number, so it can be a charged, charged, po charged positivity, positivity, uh, in a positive way <laughs> um, with that uh, meeting with your partner or event or whatever you decide to do with your partner. Thursday 24, uh, it's a galactic, a galactic activation portal in Mayan astrology. The sign is blue night and it's also the first quarter of the moon on Thursday. And the numbers are six, five, and three. In terms of numerology, the numbers are quite normal energies, like six is home, five is outward energy, and three is communication. So three is in the whole date of, the, of this day, 24, Thursday. Uh, so it's a really good day to come out to the world, social media, have me or have meetings in person to communicate, Mm? to pass your message, uh, to yeah, have meetings, you know, it's really a good energy to be with people. Then first quarter, okay, good, peaceful, and then portal, blue night. The blue night sign, which is the sign of my other daughter, um, the blue night sign is a sign for a dream, but not just dream when we are uh, sleeping but also dream when you know you meditate and you visualize your reality this is the energy of the blue night is visualizing your reality and feeling in your heart this is an excellent day to really meditate because this energy is really for meditating and visualizing your your it's a healing energy also all the ones who belong to the blues are, are, are healing energies uh, i am blue storm 
So Blue Knight, they, and as a portal, which is really powerful, Thursday is an amazing day to visualize the reality that you would like, meditate on that and feel it and take some time doing this. Friday, we have 7.33 and 4. 4, it's the whole date. It's a, a number that is related with work, basically, simple and basic. But we have 7 and 33. 25 is 7. So, two karmic energies in the same day. Um, go careful, just see how the day goes. And uh, my astrology is yellow seed, yellow seed. So seven and 33 are spiritual numbers. So yellow seed is a day to plant new seeds or give new seeds ideas to other people. Or maybe you receive a, a idea or suggestion from other person to you. It's a yellow seed. It's flowering and it's targeting, targeting. Then Saturday, 26, normal day. 8, 7 and 5. 5 is a really good energy to be with people. Meetings go out. Um, red serpent energy. Red serpent is related in my astrology a lot with, with sexuality, with tantri, especially with tantric sexuality. And Sunday, it's quite yeah normal day, nothing special about Saturday. And then Sunday um, we have a 9 because it's 27. 9, 8, and 6, a normal, normal day. And, and 6, as the whole date, is the energy of the family, is the energy of the home, is the energy for healing and helping and assisting others and serving others. This is the energy of the 6. And Sunday, this 6 is in the whole date, which means such a beautiful day to be in family, such a beautiful day to do things with family, either going out or staying home. Uh, or looking after the home, you know, or doing things around your house, or create, because it's also creative energy. Um, it has also a nine, because it's 27, so nine is such a blissful, dharmic energy, it's so, such a beautiful day to be with your loved ones, actually. So, that's it for this week, thank you for watching, I really hope you get um insights about this weekend that you observe how it goes and then if actually you then find this to be accurate in your life it will be really lovely i would really love to receive your feedback and your inputs thank you for watching and sayonara <laughs>